On 10 a.m. on March 14th, students left their classrooms nationwide to participate in a peaceful walkout protest advocating for the elimination of gun violence. At Downers Grove South High School, the number of students that left the building was 622. Enough is enough! 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 This is new to many in the U.S., reflective of a growing trend of youth action. We spoke to Zachary Kuhn, an English teacher at DGS, to understand how this trend appears as an educator. I was talking to my dad about this the other day. My dad's 71. Um, he went to high school from 61 to 65. And his generation fought and walked out for so many different things, you know, for civil rights, for the Vietnam War. And I feel like this new generation of kids is seeing things, they're seeing things that my dad and his, and his friends and my mom and her friends saw at the time as being super important. Um, and that generation between kind of didn't foster the same thing. So in 14 years, I've never had a student talk about a walkout. The explosive growth can be attributed to a recent rumor of a shooting threat that caused nearly 500 absences on the day of an assembly. One of the student leaders, Mark Anthony Smith, spoke on this. Unfortunately, we know all too well the subject of guns is very relevant in our lives. We have even felt what a rumor of a threat is like here at DGS. Please, raise your hands if you did not show up that Friday. That should not happen. Not here. The fear in our schools are real. And it must end. This is why we walk. Enough is enough. That fear helped the walkout happen. However, the walkout didn't occur without consequence. Before the walkout happened, District 99 Superintendent Hank Feely mentioned in an email that students will not be disciplined for engaging in civil protests that do not interfere with the learning environment. However, leaving class unexcused is a violation of school rules and will result in disciplinary action. This came off as a clear contradiction to students. It's kind of bogus that they still handed out detention slips doesn't make any sense at all. Perhaps an hour's deemed detention was a little bit much, but I feel like the, it was laid out clearly and quickly and, and with the uh, understanding that the administration supports what these kids are looking for. Students walked back into the building to be greeted by swipe stations. A tardy tracking system lined up at the door, one by one receiving detentions. And yet amidst the punishment, students walked back to class with a smile on their face. So, was it worth it? To them, without a doubt. If you're not willing to give up an hour for your release, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? It's just like really powerful to see like so many students actually come forward and like do something and want to do an actual like change. Because it's so much bigger than all of us. It's really great to see the solidarity in the community and just to see how we can get all be a part of this and be a part of something that's greater than us. What has to be taken into account that these detentions are only available to be served for eight days max before spring break with 91 students attending each one. It doesn't take a genius to see that that may not occur very easily. So Principal Schwartz introduced an alternative punishment, an open forum between staff and students about school safety. And when we had our walkout yesterday, we thought the kids did such a great job, this would be a good to opportunity to have some of those student leaders now put it into action and give all the students who participated and any student for that matter who has some concerns or ideas about school safety a forum to do it and a way they could serve their detention creatively. 17 students lost their lives in Parkland. 622 walked on their behalf right here in Downers Grove. Regardless of politics, the nationwide call to action presented and created by the students is an important first step in the growth of a nation's youth. The emphasis placed on discussion and collaboration between staff and students is vital to promote an environment where tragedies like Parkland won't happen again. To many, PGS is taking steps in the right direction.